What's up guys, Nightingale here and welcome back to another update notice. Today we are doing October 13th uh, update notice. We're back with Chroma Dominial. We're still waiting to know what it is, but Chroma Dominial is Omni Dominial for this week's update notice. So uh, Twitch chat, we're here live on uh, Twitch. So Twitch chat, say hello to YouTube. YouTube, say hello to Twitch chat. You guys have been killing it. Um, and uh, if you need uh, to have any of the... Um, Timestamps, they'll be down in the description below. So GM Dominion is here to give us some information. And uh, starting with number one, we're going to start off today with the Guild War Triumphant season is... Uh, Preseason's finally ending and the normal season is beginning. Now, I'm just going to throw this out here because I hate preseason. Can we, can we, can we like just like unanimously as a community come together and just say, just run into the next season? Because there's nothing worse than I... There's nothing worse to me than ramping up to 5x rewards to have them ripped out from underneath you to go back down to 1x rewards and then have to ramp back up to 5x. Or B, option B, can we just like get the 5x reward during off season just for everybody while it's off season? And uh, yeah, because off season nobody cares. Uh, we all we all we all care about uh, normal season, but anyway. Uh, so the Guild War seasons are starting and ending. Uh, this basically the rest of this week, next week starts up the um, triumphant season. Hooray! To going back to trying. If you actually care about your guild's little banners, there they are. Nobody actually cares. Um, World Conquest, World Arena number two, World Arena Conquest season ending. Hooray! Uh, it's going off into off-season, and uh, nobody actually cares about off-season, because then it's the time to meme. Uh, but that ends this Saturday, so you have till Saturday to get your Apocalypse Ravi skin. Now, the other thing that we normally bring up at this same time is the bronze, silver, and gold requirements are better than everything above. <sighs> or the rewards are better than everything above. Can we just get a slow accumulation going up of this reward? So 2,000, let's see here. So they're increasing it by 500. So Masters gets 2,500. Challenger gets 3,000. Champion gets 3,500. Emperor gets 4,000. And Legends get 4,500 Conquest points. You know, or, you know, if you want to do Diminishing Returns so that it doesn't go up to 4,000, you know, start going, you know, maybe... 25,000, 3,000, 3,250, you know, and you work your way up. Can we get something else here? Because I'm going to be honest, people, if you don't care for the skin, staying in gold is actually more efficient than being getting just a skin and a frame. I said it. I actually said it. Yep, I have zero remorse, zero regrets. Staying in gold gives you more than the skin. If you don't want the skin. Now, you guys have been able to go check this out. Uh, it's on the page. If you want to watch the video about her skin, there it is. And you'll be able to see it. Okay. And a quick overview of the new 5-star ML Astromancer, Elena. Uh, again, you can watch the video if you so care. Skip over the introduction because it basically reads the same thing down here. Basically, this is just copy pasta. So we're just going to jump straight into her skills. So, Melody of Damnation. Okay. So, this is her S1. Attacks the enemy with a punishing melody when the target has a debuff. Increased damage dealt. Now, this will be interesting to see how this plays out. Um, so, her passive is Disciple of the Stars. After an ally, except for the caster attacks, when the target is unable to counterattack, activates Worship Me. Worship Me can only be activated once every four turns. Acquire 10 souls, increasing combat readiness of all allies by 15%. Okay. Um, and then Enrage Stars Retribution. Nobody gives a crap about the awake and then before awakening. So after awakening, increases or attacks all enemies with the energy of Enrage Stars, decreasing buff durations by one turn before restricting and making them unable to counterattack for two turns. Um, when using this skill, uh, 
increases hit chance by 35% and will not trigger a counter attack. Now, just to add more salt into this, they not only give her... They not only give her hit chance, but they give her a 20 soul, soul burn for ignore effect resistance. So that's right. The last two units to come out, the last two units to come out have had ignore F res soul burns. And one's a normal RGB. And they see nothing wrong with this. Okay. All right, uh, and then they finally realized their mistake and they forgot to do this last time, but uh, World Arena Global Band Hero Information, they will be banning now Lua, the Spatial Tempora, um, Spatial Temporal Fan, and Astromancer Elena, and Three Star Unbound, basically the special change for AOL. All right, which leads us into the next category, which is Special Change Unbound Knight AOL. So Arowell's finally getting her glow up and becoming um, something that doesn't look quite so trash. All right, so her specially changed skill is going from defensive position to judgment of light. That sounds like a paladin skill. All right, attacks the enemy with a shield, dispelling all buffs. And a 75% chance to stun for one turn before granting a barrier to all allies for two turns. Damage dealt and barrier strength increased proportionally to the caster's max HP. Okay. So this is, we're, we're just at Wednesday. All right. This is just Wednesday, the 12th of October. And we've now gained a ignore Efrez soul burn unit. And we're gaining another unit who dispels all buffs. We have Friday, the balance notes that are going to come out. And who do you want to bet is going to be getting a dispel all buff? Penetrates defense. I mean, literally, at this point, we just might as well have a bingo game. Or if you guys are degenerate enough and y'all want to drink, you can have a drinking game every time they use the words dispels buffs. You'll be very drunk by the end of that um, of that video. So, yes. Uh, drink responsibly. <clears throat> but that being said, they're changing her thing around to it. Now, I know some people don't care. Uh, they're like, yay, dispels buffs. But, I mean, let's be real. Everything at this point is making buffs devalued, which is setting up... This is where my concern comes in with this. This is setting the ground for more undispellable buffs. Which shouldn't have ever been a thing personally like unique buffs and all that stuff should not have been a thing if this wasn't a treasured function but this has become literally their this is their salt and their pepper is death pen that's their two main seasonings now it's not the rare saffron or uh the truffle mushroom anymore it's literally it's salt and pepper of we're gonna make a kit here's a little salt here's a little pepper done you're welcome um all right so to complete her specially change you'll need to complete uh 10 10 shrieking all basically complete the first episode uh you'll need to reach level 30 with arrow L and also pull her uh how to access go to the lobby you'll be able to go in and start the specially change quest you will probably need to 30 this let's read what they are adding so her runes are Earth Rune is increased effect resistance by 15%. Health Rune uh, is giving her health. Harvest Rune, when using a shield, when using shield thrust, has a 100% to recover HP of the caster by 5%. Uh, fruition Rune, increased effect resistance. Speed Rune, thrust speed increases combat readiness of the caster by 10%. Relic Rune, increase damage dealt uh, of Judgment of Light by 10%. Glory Rune, at the start of the turn, when the caster does not have a debuff, has a 100% chance to increase effectiveness for one turn. Uh, Unity Rune, increases attack uh, of Light Element allies by 10%. Guard rune at the start of the battle grants barrier equivalent to 15% of the caster's max HP to light elemental allies for two turns. And achievement rune after using judgment light if the target is stunned has a 100% chance to decrease skill cooldowns. Oh, wow. That's cool. So we're now getting a unit that can now decrease skill cooldowns. Cool. 
All right. Anyway. Number six, Zahak and Pure White Trust. Now, um, this will be available from 1013 to 1020, so Zahak will be the banner unit. Uh, I'm gonna be real. If you're struggling with Violets, if you're struggling with Shu, if you're struggling with Ayuravi, Zahak says hi. I'm a believer. I mean, he's even got the Biebs hair and everything. I'm a, I'm a believer at this point. Um, so, and the artifact's not actual complete trash. Not that you'll want to use this on him, but I'm a believer. Um, I've seen him do some very disgusting things. I've two tapped a proof of valor A Ravi. So, and my build sucks. So, yeah. If uh, you're struggling with certain said units that are A Ravi, struggling with Violet, Rylet, Shu, he gonna do some things. He gonna do a lot of things. All right, other improvements and adjustments. Uh, the worst RB skin ever um, is now available to purchase. Do not waste your 120 or 110 tickets on that garbage. Uh, let's see here. Uh, improvements guild application will allow heirs to write a message when requesting to join allies that accepts guild members manually. Uh, great. So now we got to read a bunch of spam when they apply. Cool. But hey, now it actually says, hey, I'm so-and-so from st stream or hey, I'm so-and-so for Twitch. Actually, this uh, for YouTube. Uh, I mean, this is kind of funny, but bad and great. So at least I can now know who's random and who's from YouTube or Twitch. So I'm not just like, yeet. <laughs> and you're like, I got rejected from the guild. I guess you're being a... I guess you don't really want me. Uh, no, I didn't know that was you because there's 20 other, there's 19 other people there that look random as heck. So, okay, cool. I'll give him that. All right, other balance, other improvements. Let's see here. Uh, to move the quest navigator, nobody cares. Issue with voice lines. Uh, skill animation recovered health was not displayed. Book of memories. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, okay, nothing. Nothing. Um... Yeah, no, we're good. Okay. So, the last thing here, really quick, is the chest. Uh, password reveal, and I'm sure if we would have had a live stream, Mashu would have been playing the whole, <gasps> what would it be? It's S-C-R-O-L. I wonder why it's that. You know, it's like, because you have a specialty change, and you guys are unoriginal for passwords. So, but, oh my god, what's the code? What's in the box? Three leaves and 300,000 gold. All right, so let's do slash follower mode only off and uh i'm just gonna set the timer for five minutes and if you guys ask any questions before i finish saying my thing uh we will just wrap up and go so at nightingale 1176 we'll be answering any questions that uh come up in the order they receive that are pertaining to the update notice i don't we're not going to be trying to fix your wyvern team or anything like that because we have people do try to come through and ask that um but overall dead week uh next week uh assumed to be a dead week as well um should be a side story starting up uh probably a halloween themed one um yeah because we're getting close to the end of october so there'll be something spooky um coming up here soon the good news is no collab announcement so your bookmarks are safe um and uh, means it will be passed if they are going to run it. It is not going to be at the one-year mark that they ran uh, Slime last time, which was the 28th of October. Yeah, Green Ruby released then. So we uh, could be sometime, if it is going to show up, would be around anniversary or not at all which is fine too because honestly i've been slightly paranoid that you know they are gonna slam a bunch of stuff all in a row but it gives you guys time to recover because honestly last year was horrifying and um for new players 
in the span of like 90 to 100 days, you had, well, actually, I think it was like 150 days is what we calculated. You had SSB, Holiday Euphine, you had Summer Iceria, uh, Rim, Amelia, then you had Luna, you had uh, Landy, then you had Rimuru and Malim. Nine units. Nine limited units in less than 180 days. That is a chunk. And I know a lot of... I actually do know new players that burned out because they couldn't pull them all. They just... They said nope. And they left because they just couldn't pull nine limited units. Because there was other stuff for them to pull. You had other non-limiteds that came around that were like, oh wow, I kind of need this too. And it was a very bad stint of stuff. So hopefully they're spreading this stuff out a little bit more. And... Uh, I'm just trying to help you guys out by letting you know that there potentially could be a collab rerun, and this would have been the one-year mark. So I'd say you technically should be looking around for, like, the next live stream. So one more um, one more cycle, and then I would just kind of say, write it off until they say it. At that point, it could show up at any point in time, but this is, like, around that time frame. So that is it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up because no questions have come in. Um but I will answer any questions, though, once we're done with the video. So, uh, YouTube, thank you so much for coming and hanging out, and everybody here uh, on Twitch for coming and hanging out while we do the update notice video. Like I said, it's a short one, because there's really not a lot here. <laughs> Units aren't content. But, hey, cool. Well, it'll give somebody something to do for a little bit. But y'all take care, enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>